this video we're going to walk you through the installation of the uh, FTI. So first we have to prepare OTM for the FTI. Let's log into CMD. I'm going to change my directory to a script 8 advanced analytics. This should be pre-deployed in your OTM file or files or directory. I'm going to run this. Uh, I'm going to log in with my Glog owner name and password. Okay, so I'm logged in to, to the database. I'm going to use this script. Okay. Next thing that we need to do is to create the users and also the table spaces for FTI. First, let's just let's check the Glob properties file. I already filled in the an uncomment uh, the parameters. You should be able to see it under Future Transportation Intelligence. I use the uh, the schema, the the uh, the HD owner and the user, also the password. You should do the same. If you follow the comments or my blog, you will gonna see the full details of how log properties should look like. Okay, I'm gonna disconnect from the SQL. I'm gonna log in as a system administrator. We were gonna create the table spaces. Okay, I'm gonna accept the default values. I'm gonna <coughs> paste the location where these table spaces should be created. Okay, everything is ready now. We've created the table spaces. We don't have any errors, which is good. Now that we have table spaces, we should create the users. especially the HD owner. We were going to log in back with the system uh, database administrator and run the script of create all users. So we see that the HD owner is created. Okay. Also the password, the system admin password and the connection, which is your Oracle database. The users were created, or the user was created, the HD owner. Please keep in mind and note somewhere your HD owner password. Okay, we're gonna run the next script, create all. The connection ID. If you read it in the instruction, you will gonna see where you can find your connection ID, which is always your Oracle database name. So it's OTMDB, the one that we have set it up previously. The user will gonna be the HD owner, the Glog owner password, and the OLTP database connection string. So it's localhost 1521 OTMDB. We've used this previously. 
okay we don't have a unix we have a windows so we're going to use no enter the glow properties path just browse where your glow properties file is located mine is under otm glog config and we're going to copy this location path paste it enter now it's connecting to the hd owner schema and we're going to create the, create the hd owner tables which will be, will be used by the fti we're going to use the we're going to create the primary keys foreign keys you will gonna see where these are used in the, in the next videos so we have no errors which is good okay you will gonna create all other things needed by the by the uh, FTI users such as the views and menus Okay, so the VPD policies were created, yes. We just have to wait for the script to, to be over. We'll use this, this uh, HD owner schema in the repository that we were going to create. Okay, so everything is done now. We don't have any errors. Also, please keep in mind that we have to modify the TNS uh, file with this new um, <coughs> connection name. So, your TNS file should be located at uh, Oracle BI admin network. This is the TNS names. Okay, I already did it. The TP, RP, TAP, and all TP connection. It will gonna use the same host and same uh, port as your database. This will be used in the repository. Here I'm. Uh, uh, I will gonna log into to um, to OTM to see that it's up and running. Okay, so from the console file, I see that the server is ready. Okay, we were talking about the repository. First thing that we need to do is to start the uh, BI services. Okay. We're going to log into BI administration. things that I want to show you here is the repository that we will gonna use from now on or the FTI repository that you will gonna use as, as a subject area and from here you can start your analysis or, or your reports or dashboard for transportation management uh, system let's make sure that this, the servers are up and running okay I will just gonna open <coughs> the offline repository if you have troubles in opening it you should follow my other instructional videos on how you can troubleshoot a repository so this is how the physical uh, metadata looks like so we're going to use the data source name the one that we have set it up in the TNS aura and also the uh, username and passwords Okay, you should have the password already set up and the, and the users, the agent owner and Glock DBA. So modify all to, to, to be updated with the passwords and the name and also the data source name. Okay. That's why I said you need to keep all your passwords and users somewhere in a, in a log file. If you have issues or troubles, check out my other videos.